In this video, we'll be doing a problem that involves interest, which is compounded continuously. The equation that's used for this type of situation is A equals P times E raised to the RT. The A is the future amount or the amount in the account after time t. The p is sometimes called principal. It is the present amount, or the amount that's being deposited into the account at time zero. The e is the irrational number 2.718218, etc. r is the interest rate. It needs to be written as a decimal. And then T is time in years. The problem that we'll be doing is how long will it take for the money in an account that is compounded continuously at 5.75% to double? So let's write our variables. How long will it take? So this means we're looking for our time for the money in an account that's compounded continuously. So that means we use this formula. And the rate is 5.75%. Now 5.75% written as a decimal, we need to move our decimal point to the left two places. So one place will take it in front of the 5, and then another place will have to annex a 0 out in front. So our decimal for this rate is 0 0.0575. Now they're not giving us any amount of money. So we could, if we wanted to, put any amount in at as our principal, our present value. So let's just say we want to invest $100. Then for it to double, that means our future value needs to be $200. So our formula then, A equals PE to the RT. Our A is 200. Our P is 100 times e raised to the 0 0.0575 times t. So since our variable is in the exponent, we need to isolate this factor that contains that variable. So let's divide by 100 on both sides. These will cancel, and 200 divided by 100 is 2. So on the right side, I now have e to the 0.0575t. Now you'll notice here that if I had let my principal be 1,000, then my future value would have been 2,000. And when I divided it out, it still would have been 2. So it doesn't matter what you put in for your present value just as long as your future value is two times as much because we're wanting to know how long it'll take to double. Now, since my variable is in the exponent, I'm going to need to log both sides of this equation. And since my base of my exponential is e, rather than use a common log, I'll use a natural log. So I'm going to ln both sides. So on the left, I have ln2, and on the right, I'm going to use the property for logarithms that allows me to take this exponent on the argument and write it in front of the logarithm as a coefficient. So then this right side becomes 0.0575t multiplied by the ln of e. I'm also going to use the property of logarithms that says when the base of the logarithm, so the base of a natural log is e, 
when the base of the logarithm is the same as the argument, that factor is equal to 1. ln e is equal to 1. So now my problem becomes ln 2 equals 0.0575t. Since this decimal is multiplied by t, to isolate the t, I need to divide both sides by that decimal, 0 0.0575. These will cancel, and I have t on the right side, and ln2. Be sure to close up the parentheses before you hit the divided by key, 0 0.0575. Uh, looks like 12. So my time is about 12 years.